Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to talk about OB nurses and I'm going to give you the job overview and the job duties, the education requirements, salary information, and some of the likes and the dislikes of this profession. So let's get right to it. What exactly is an OB nurse? Well, an OB nurse is oftentimes referred to by a lot of different terms. Some people will say it's a nurse specializing in gynecology or perinatal care or an obstetric nurse will be referred to sometimes or an OBGYN nurse. You may have heard some of those terms and that generally refers to the same type of nurse. And obstetrics really just covers a period between pregnancy, childbirth, or postpartum care. And a lot of OB nurses will actually work in areas that will allow them to care for individuals from the ages of puberty all the way through menopause. Now, the OB nurses will work in a lot of different areas. For example, if you're a labor and delivery nurse, well, you're an OB nurse. Some individuals will specialize in postpartum care, OBGYN private offices, or they will work in the mother-baby care centers and hospitals where mothers will, will prefer not to be separated from their babies, and so they will sometimes have a special area in the labor and delivery unit or in a hospital and OB nurses will sometimes work alongside with them. And of course, OB nurses work with doctors, nurse practitioners, and midwives to provide care to patients and their babies. Now let's talk about some of the job duties for an OB nurse. What does an OB nurse do on a daily basis? Well, they will do a lot of different things depending on the specialty in which they work. They may do checkups. They may assist in providing or educating about birth control, um, certain vaccines like the HPV vaccine. They may assist with screenings, with pelvic exams such as pap smears and things like that. They may assist with breastfeeding after a mother has delivered a baby. And of course, labor and delivery, all of that entire process, they will work in that area as well. So again, it really depends on which area you intend to specialize in. But that's a little bit about the job duties. Now let's talk about the education requirements. First of all, you're going to have to have either your associate's degree or bachelor's degree and then sit for the NCLEX RN exam after you complete all your clinical hours and the education requirements. And then, of course, when you pass the NCLEX, you will be licensed as a nurse in your state. And you can then work. And a lot of times you can go right into this specialty or some hospitals or areas may prefer that you have a you know, one, two, three years of experience before you go right into it. So it really just depends on the healthcare facility. Another thing is that you can get certification by going through the National Certification Corporation, and usually they require you to have about 2,000 hours or so before you actually sit to become certified in this specialty. Okay, now let's talk about salary information. How much money does an OB nurse make? Well, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is the government organization that compiles jobs data, the average salary for a registered nurse in the United States was $69,790 as of 2014. The hourly wage average was $33.55. Now that's all different types of registered nurses across the whole United States, so they didn't break it down based on specialty. According to payscale.com, they gave a median salary of $52,500 for OB nurses and a median hourly wage of $26.29 per hour. So that gives you an idea of approximately how much you can make as an OB nurse, but of course it depends on the state in which you live, the industry in which you work, and a lot of different factors like that. Now, a lot of OB nurses will work in hospitals. That's probably the most common area for this specialty. Um, private practices, such as an OBGYN office, and they will sometimes work with midwives and things like that. So those are the most common areas of employment for OB nurses. Now let's talk about some of the likes and the dislikes for this profession. Well, one of the likes is that nurses that go into this specialty tend to love babies and love the whole pregnancy process. And I have made a video, by the way, on labor and delivery nurses where I talk a little bit more in detail about that. I'll try to put a link in the description of this video below if you want to watch that but it gives a little bit more information about what a labor and delivery nurse does. But most of these individuals love working in the whole pregnancy process. Another thing is that this is one of the most popular areas of nursing. People tend to love OB nursing or labor and delivery nursing, so it's very popular. Another thing is that if you work in an office setting, for example, you do you assist with pap smears and you assist with screenings and things like that, usually it's a very laid back atmosphere compared to something like floor nursing where it can be crazy and a little bit more hectic and you may have better hours and things like that. Now, what are some of the dislikes? Well, I've talked about this in other videos, but when you have to deal with the loss of a child or deformities, 
when you've been helping someone through the whole labor process or you've been seeing a patient as they come in for checkups and then you you have a checkup and find out that there's a major problem with the pregnancy that can be very discouraging very heartbreaking another thing is that uh, there can be a lot of different complications you have to deal with and even sometimes doing these screenings can be a challenge and when you're dealing with pregnant women sometimes they can be a little bit angry uncomfortable and things like that and then finally when they witness that a parent is maybe a little bit neglectful to their infant or something like that it can be really difficult and children being addicted to drugs out of the womb that's something that a lot of labor and delivery nurses for example hate and i've talked about that but that's a little bit about OB nurses. I hope that gave you a little bit more clarification. And we have a lot of other videos about different nursing specialties. You want to make sure to check those out. Thank you so much for watching. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel.